The driver of this Subaru faces aggravated DWI charges. Police say 66-year-old Sue Sargent of Elliott, Maine, was northbound on I-95 in Seabrook Tuesday when she made contact with another vehicle, then veered over the center median, hitting a southbound Jeep. 27-year-old Michael Hoffman of New Jersey was thrown out of that vehicle and died. They're working really hard to figure out what happened, uh, why it happened, how it happened, and see if we can you know, prevent it from happening again. It's not clear if or how much difference a guardrail in that median would have made. There aren't many along 95. Transportation officials say they use national guidelines, putting them in if there's a clear zone of 30 feet or less. I know the area where the accident happened, the, the median width is in excess of that. I think it's about 60 feet. He says rails are used near hazards like abutments or signs or turns. The section of 95 is, is, is straight and flat, so it really didn't, uh, as far as I know, raise any concerns in the past. He says the state is judicious in its use of guardrails. We don't necessarily know how many may have veered off and, and recovered and, and, and came back. Um, and if there was guardrail there or guardrail at the edge of pavement, that can be as much of a hazard as, as, as not being there. So. Now, state police say two young people have died in the last few days in accidents where they were ejected from the vehicle. So a few reminders tonight. One, never drive impaired. And two, always buckle up. We're live in Seabrook. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.